In this video, we will learn about long and short vowels. In Arabic language, we have three long vowels. There are short vowels counterparts, which are pronounced half as long. Short vowels are not represented by letters, like long vowels. They are represented by diacritics. Also, short vowels are not part of the Arabic alphabet. They are written above or underneath the consonant. In this video and in the next videos, we will learn more about long and short vowels and how we pronounce them. Let's get started with the long vowels. Again, we have three long vowels. We have Aleph, Wow, and Ya. Now, let's see how we read Aleph, Wow, or Ya, if they are consonant, if they are not vowels, or if they are vowels. Then we will compare them to the short vowels. Let's do it step by step. If alif is a consonant, we read it as a. If alif is a vowel, you read it a. If wow is a consonant, you read it wa, wa, like let's say the word what. It's a wa sound. If wow it's a vowel, you read it oo sound, oo sound. Just try to remember any words in English that has oo sound. So can you can remind yourself how to read them. If yeah, it's a consonant, you read it as ya, ya, yak, yes, ya sound. If ya, it's a vowel, you read it as e sound. E sound, like deed, E sound. Let's do it again. If Alif it's a consonant, you read it A. Ah. If Alif it's a vowel, you read it A. Ah. If Wow it's a consonant, you read it Wa. If Wow it's a vowel, you read it O sound. If ya, yeah, it's a consonant, you read it ya. Yeah. If ya, yeah, it's a vowel, you read it e sound. So now in my next video, I will show you how to know and when you can tell alif it's a consonant or alif it's a vowel. But so far, you have to learn how to read them. So in my next video, we can distinguish between long vowels and short vowels and how we read both of them.